So if you're purchasing a carburetor and it says it has a boost reference power valve, go ahead and get it. Uh, th that's a better way to go. It's just a little more uh, thought process put into it and a little more technology there for you to help the tunability and the runability of the car. But without it, they still run okay. Well, we've talked about different types of carburetors for superchargers. Um, let's talk about some other little modifications you can do to these things. On blow-through systems, centrifugals with blow-throughs, the problem is the bonnet sits over the top of the carburetor right here. And right here, these guys are bowl vents. This lets air inside the bowls right here, just lets them breathe. Problem with a blow-through system is, is it forces air down inside here. It also pressurizes these bowls, puts a lot of pressure inside here. Okay, and that's okay. No, nothing wrong with that. Problem is when you r start running too much boost, it also starts blowing fuel out the throttle plates and things like that. So there are clamshells, uh, which we'll see a little bit later, but there's clamshells you can put these uh, carburetors in and it pressurizes the whole thing. But the reason I'm telling you about this right now is I want to show you a problem you can run into. So when the bonnet sits on top and the discharge nozzle comes up and forces air down inside here, it pressurizes these guys, you got to be careful on what kind of floats you use. Uh, most carburetors come with brass floats and brass floats are fine. They're a hollow brass float, but they're thin and they're soldered together. And what happens is when you start running up into some good boost, ab uh, above 10 pounds of boost is where you're going to really start running into trouble. Um, what will happen is we have one right here. This was a brass float and it's imploded. And you can see it's all crinkled right here. It used to be this shape all the way down, just right there, all the way across right here. And what's happened is pressure has imploded it. Just like a submarine going down too deep underwater, they implode. And that's what happened. So much pressure got in here, it actually squished this thing in. And what that does is it screws up the, the uh, uh, fuel delivery inside the floats here. And it changes its buoyancy. And they just don't work. I mean, if they wanted them to look like this, they'd make them like that. And they don't come that way from the factory for a reason. Remedy that, there's nitrile fill floats. This is a nitrile fill float right here. This looks a little different because this is for a side uh, hung float. This other one was a center hung, but this is a side uh, hung float. Um, still the same thing, still a holly float, um, but they're made out of what they call nitrofill. It's a solid, almost like a foam, um, but they can't implode. They're solid all the way through. And when you go into supercharged motors with blow through systems, you definitely want to go to a nitrofill float or you're going to implode the floats and you're going to have fuel delivery problems and starvation. And like I said, you starve a blower motor, it's gone. It'll, it'll smoke it. So now you know that leaning a blown motor out you know, can really be bad on it. So the question is, can you use your stock fuel pump, your stock mechanical fuel pump?